In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about alpha, but also too, there's another term that we use for it, depending on the software package you're working in. A lot of designers, we actually use alpha and opacity kind of interchangeably. So inside of GIMP, we actually call it opacity. So what this means is this is how see-through elements are in your overall design. So let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. What I have in front of me here is I have two graphics on an overall canvas. So what I'd like to do here is maybe for sake of argument, let's say, you know, there's a lot of open space here with the bird graphic. So what I want to do is maybe kind of overlay the mill picture here. Now, the problem with this, though, is as you can see, it kind of blocks out behind the actual uh, picture here. So this is where something like opacity comes into play. There are primarily two areas that we focus on as far as working with uh, opacity is concerned, one of which is the layers themselves. Now, from a previous lecture, remember that when you're working with different layers, one of the big things you have to keep in mind is that everything on that layer is affected. So what that means for you is if I had multiple elements on this layer with the mill here, what that means is all of the elements are going to be affected when I set the opacity, which is why it's pretty important that whenever you're designing, you want to make sure that you're working in these layers. Now, every time you click on a layer though in the overall project, right above it here, it's a little hard to see. You have a mode drop down, which we'll get to in a later lecture, but then you also have this opacity going on here. Opacity again is how see through an element is. So what I can do is let's say I still want to see the bird. So I can come up to opacity. I have two ways of working with it in GIMP. Number one is I can just use my little dragger here and begin to drag the graphic. Or if I really, really wanted to, I could actually just double click that number at the end and maybe say, you know, 85%. And now you can kind of see here, I get that kind of fading effect going on and you can still kind of see through behind the graphic. So you can still kind of see the bird's stomach there. As far as opacity goes, there's really no super strong, like when you're in this situation, you use this percent. When you're in that situation, you use that percent. Working with opacity is one of those things that you kind of develop the eye for over time. Another element that works with the opacity and how see-through it is, is the brush tools. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the demo layer, but I'm also going to grab my brush tool here. And what I'm going to do before I dive in here is I'm going to go ahead and grab a different tool here, a different brush head. And what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to take the size up immensely here. Let's see how big is that? That's actually pretty good there. That's where I want. Okay. Now, depending on the type of brushes you're working with, especially whenever you click on the brush itself and choose one of the pre-made brushes, sometimes you already have a specific opacity set. So like for instance here, like let's start with 100 and I'll go ahead and just click once. You can see here, as far as the overall design goes, it's a pretty strong value there. But now, if I go ahead and maybe take this down to say 65, and maybe now I'll go ahead and change my color here. I'm on my palette, so go ahead and flip that out there. You can see here the overall difference as far as if you really, really look, you can see here as far as like between that purple and that blue there, you can actually see, you know, that was a pretty deep purple there. And overall, though, I have a much lighter appearance here. So you can directly affect tools, but again, you can also actually kind of level and layer out here. Like, let's say I take this demo layer and actually put this at the top of my stack. So now it's actually laying on top of the graphics. Maybe I take this one step further here for the layer that is housing the tool there and go to 50%. And notice now how even the blue is starting to fade out there. So you can use multiple 
options as far as setting opacity. You can go between both the tool that you're working with and the layer as well. So you can have different levels going on simultaneously. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're designing. Um, Honestly, opacities, uh, you put a solid backdrop on. So for instance, maybe I come in, let me unlock the background layer and maybe we go, oh, maybe I do like a kind of an orange here, but go a little bit light on it here. And I say, fill with foreground color under the edit dropdown. These are nice, quick ways you can get some backgrounds going as far as almost like a textured look to your designs. So working with the different types of opacities between layers and your tools, specifically a paintbrush, is a great way to get like a little bit more going on, but not too much more as far as adding a little interest to your overall design.